The Bible says life is like a vapor. It appears and then it vanishes away. We cannot live like as if we're going to live here on earth forever because it's not true. The Bible says that we are to redeem the time because the days are evil. That means we ought to make every moment count. And listen, this is an admonition for Christians. You that has trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior, how are you living? Are you living for the here and now? Or are your eyes fixed on heaven? Paul the Apostle says in Colossians 3, If you be risen with Christ, set your affection on things above. Things above. Things that pertain unto eternity. We ought to be Christians shining the gospel by the life that you live and by your conversation and the word that you speak. It's a shame today not many people know that there are Christians because they don't share their faith. They're not witnesses for Christ. You probably know that they're religious, but not necessarily a true disciple of Jesus Christ that walks around and is sensitive to the uh, souls and the needs of others. And the greatest need for people is not to be in church, but to be in Christ. How many people are churchgoers and are in hell right now because they never trusted Jesus Christ as their own personal Savior? That's a shame. Don't let that be a reality in your life. Don't let Matthew 7, 21 to 23 be a reality in your life. Jesus said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he who doeth the will of the Father which is in heaven. But many will say to me that day, But Lord, did we not cast out devils in your name and in your name prophesy? And in your name do many wonderful works? And I'll profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me. Look at this, you workers of iniquity. To try to earn your way or work your way into heaven dampers, listen to me, the grace of God. It frustrates it. And Paul the Apostle says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness came by the works of the law, then Christ is dead in vain. And let me ask you a question. Did Christ die for nothing? No. He, he died because He loved you. But God commendeth His love toward us in that while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. He didn't die for nothing. He died that He may save you by His grace. And those that wish to keep the law or continue to do uh, uh, self-righteous acts, thinking that they're going to earn favor or entry into heaven, you have to think again. Not by uh, works of righteousness, which we have done, but by His mercy He saved us. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation is a call of faith in, a, in, a, in an attitude of repentance toward God, believing on His Son, His only begotten, that was given for you and your sin, that you in Christ will have the forgiveness of sin by His blood and will have everlasting life. And I pray, if you haven't yet come to that saving knowledge, that you will come to know Him. And to know Him is to know life eternal. God bless you.